today we are going to be speaking about Jack the Ripper. So he was active in Whitechapel District of London in 1888. He was also known as the Whitechapel Murderer and the Leather Apron. His name came from a letter which was sent to the police. So the letter was believed to have been written by someone claiming to be the murderer. However, it was later found that it was a hoax. Um, there were 11 murders in Whitechapel at that time. However, only five were linked to Jack the Ripper, which were known as the Canonical Five. Only these five were believed to be linked to him. So the victims included Anne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes and Mary Jane Kelly. So Nichols' body was discovered at 3.40am on the 31st of August in 1888. Her throat had been severed by two cuts and the lower part of her abdomen had been ripped open by a deep, jagged wound. Other incisions were on the abdomen and they were caused by the same knife which was found after the autopsy. Um, Chapman's body was found at 6am on the 8th of September 1888. Her throat had been severed by two cuts and her abdomen had also been slashed open. They later found that the uterus had also been removed. So Elizabeth Stride, she was killed on the 30th of September 1888. There was one clear cut incision on the left of her neck. So they'd also removed part of her ear, so it was quite a long cut. There was questions as to whether this was done by the same person as with the other victims, that their faces had been mutilated and their abdomen had been ripped open, which wasn't the same as this. However, there was question as to whether maybe the killer had been disturbed and that's why they couldn't finish the job. So Eddowes was killed on the same morning, uh, only 45 minutes later. So her face had been mutilated, her throat had been severed and her abdomen had been ripped open by a deep, jagged wound. Her left kidney and her major, a major part of her uterus had been removed. So Mary Jane Kelly was discovered at 10.45 on the 9th of November 1888. She had been mutilated and disemboweled in her own home. Her throat had been severed down her spine and her abdomen had been emptied of organs. However, the organs were around um, they were all still present at the crime scene. The only organ that was missing was her heart. So her heart was missing from the crime scene. So it's common belief that due to organ removal that Jack the Ripper had some surgical or some anatomical knowledge and so maybe he was a doctor. Um, nothing's ever been proved sadly. Um, unfortunately there's been hundreds of suspects this day uh, and throughout the years um, but they've never found them because Obviously, the killer's dead now. And as well, too many people have handled the evidence to this day for it to still be valid to come to a conclusive decision as to who it was. So if you want to research this anymore, you can search Ripperology, which is a term that was coined by Colin Wilson in the 1970s. And this term explains the study of Jack the Ripper. So it was just a quick one, guys. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, leave a thumbs up and I will see you next time.